It's revenge time. Megiddo is on its way. 10,000 souls are going to get cleared out so they can see sacrifice so that we can become a true demon lord. But I believe there's like 20,000 people here. I don't remember if Vimuru actually kills up all 20,000 or not. Man, the amount of pleasure I'd get from watching Shogo cry, just shit his pants, just come and be like, please, it was just a prank over and over again. Oh, Geld fucking pound time with this fist. So fucking good, man. The way that Hakuro just completely destroyed and humiliated that kid, cut his head off, caught the head, made him experience that pain 300x speed, and then tossed it to Shogo. Fucking Pete. Now, I believe there's a guy named Rosin, though, that showed out of nowhere. Falmuth Mage, who's apparently like not Ghetto or like fucking Orochimaru. Who knows how old he is? Maybe he's older than Veldora, dude. I don't fucking know, but I think he's very important and someone that I completely forgot about. Shogo's gone, but Shogo's still here as Raza. Now, we're about to get a continuation of Megiddo and finally ascend to true Demon Lord status. Let's begin today's reaction. That's right, let's go. Replay, let's go! <laughs> May the wrath of the gods Megiddo. pierce you. Instant death! Now, I hear that in the light novel, like, right in the anime right now, Megiddo is, like, instantly going through everyone's brains. It's like, like, it's pretty much like a peaceful killer, right? But apparently in the light novel, it was a lot more painful. He, like, intentionally went for limbs instead. We should have made them suffer in the anime too, man. Okay, okay, okay. Is that the king? Bald. Razen. So like, what is this, right? Because look at this. You, you saw what happened when the knight moved. Look at this. Look at the armor, right? It's like a beam that like, because he was moving as he got shot with the beam, it's like pretty much like a super hot laser beam, huh? Look at it. It just like melts the fucking armor. You ain't regrouping, bro. No one's gonna question? I guess this is a common thing. Like, they know how Rousing keeps swapping bodies. Oh, no teleport allowed. Did bro technically teleport in here, right? Because he escaped from Gel and Hakuro, right? Went with Shogo. And, and, and basically arrived here and then Rimuru cast the anti-magic barrier. So he pretty much fucked himself by porting back to base, right? <laughs> Unique skill spearhead. <laughs> Is that when he fucking yells on his horse and says, We are the knights! We have all the authority to kill people! <laughs> Alright, all right, Fulgen, let's see it. I honestly don't remember how he dies. Like, does he just get shot now? <laughs> Did he get done dirtier than Kirara? Dude, Kirara got done pretty dirty by her own friend. But bro was like, with my unique skill, Spearhead, I shall rally the troops and get us to save Team Lord. I'd like to think that this is the light novel author, right? The, the author basically saying like, yeah, this piece of shit was fucking annoying a couple episodes back, right? Don't worry, don't worry. I intensely wrote him to be annoying, but don't worry. You'll, you'll, you'll get some, like, tremendous happiness to see how he died. They're actually fucking shitting and crying their eyes out. Oh. He descends. Is that mask cracked? Wait, 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 wait. That mask was never cracked before, right? Did he crack it himself with his own power? While, when using Megiddo? From episode 8? Didn't he copy this shit? Yeah, no, this is when he got upset. This is when he got upset, right? After seeing, like, what happened to our town. Then he, it cracked, right? He put the mask on to hide his tears. And then it cracked. And it was like symbolism that he might have cried there. Razen and Rimuru meets. Oh, shit. Shogo. No, no, no. Just took his body. Rosin? Rosin? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. You, you can't tell me. I, I, I thought he was going to, like, make it through. They, they straight up gave the entire last episode of hyping this motherfucker. 
making him seem like he's some fucking end level boss that could show up in season four or five? Had, had they off screen him again? Not off screen, but they kill him like this? No! No, 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 no! Really? This fool. This fool. Try it, bro. Try it, my lord. Come on. <laughs> Merciless new unique skill. What does that do? No. You can talk, bro. Yap all you want. He wouldn't kill the real king? No, it's not okay. Wait, 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 wait. The Baldi is like, wait, wait, wait. I'm the real king, Rimuru. Why would we want to hear about the fucking church after what Hinata did to us, dude? DJ, I guess he doesn't fucking know. Does he not know? No, he does know. Doesn't he know that the witch was moving? Actually, maybe he didn't know that the witch was moving and trying to get to Rimuru. But Rimuru doesn't want to fucking hear about the church right now. Oh, that's not happening. You think Baldi could have influence over Hinata? You think Baldi could just go over and grovel and say, Please don't hunt monsters anymore. Hinata would fucking use dead end rainbow on this motherfucker before he sets peace with the... Um, she sets peace with the monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Insolence? Just kill him, just kill him, dude. The audacity. Oh my god, do you not know your place? I love how he just like snot coming out of his fucking nose too, bro. He's just crying and shitting his pants. What? You try to do friendly what? I guess the best thing the king of families could do at this point is say the church made us do it. We never wanted to attack you. Please blame the church. That's what I would probably say. So you wanted to see if you could establish friendly relations by starting a war? What? You, you like declared war on us first though and you were like after fucking us and you're like we're gonna come back in one week to like wipe you guys out even more <laughs> Ah blame the isekais okay blame the isekais Honored? Honored? This guy pisses me off bro the Genius at being so fucking aloof Good! Oh! That's right that's right Ooh look at that dark flame dude Okay, what does this do? So if they submit, if they plead for their lives, if they pretty much give up, you can just control them completely. Huh. You basically break them down, and after that, they're just your control. 100%? Oh, oh, wait, 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 it's not even the control. They just die. So if they give up, they die. What? This is crazy. Now, this is obviously really useful for trash fodder, right? I doubt that Hinata would ever give up. Like, really strong people, really strong determined people probably would never give up, right? But, like, just to get rid of fodder and anyone, like, below Rimuru, yeah, this would be really fucking useful. <laughs> Kill him more, come on. It is perfect in this situation. Merciless skill, you should fucking use it. Let's go. Yes! Oh! That's all the souls leaving, right? All the CGI knights just dropped down. 4,700 souls. That's 4,700 roughly. Dead in an instant. Why? The king and the baldy? Wait. Did he only reach the limit? Or did he actually go like beyond? Yeah, did he actually kill 14.7k? Or did he just get 4 points? Because he only needed to get 10k. I don't know if he got all 20k there though. Maybe he did? Holy shit. He got all 20? Oh, look at all those skulls, bro. True demon lord. Yes! Harvest Festival. Is that not the name of the arc where we go meet the other demon lords? 
Harvest Festival. No, that's called Wild Progress or some shit. It's not called Harvest Festival, right? So, okay, okay, okay. I was always so interested in this part, right? Because he gets sleepy here and he accidentally summons Diablo. Why did he get sleepy here? Because he kills so much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Evolution makes him sleepy. So th this is basically forced fucking computer reset, right? Your, your, your PC is fucking restarting. You have no choice. You're like, what the fuck? I didn't mean to go through an update. We need to fucking summon Diablo now so that someone can man the fucking field. And he doesn't even choose Diablo intentionally, right? He just randomly summons. <laughs> Kill him. <gasps> Diablo will kill him. <laughs> Rimuru is like being used like, like a fucking sleeping. Because like Rimuru is the one sleeping, but the way that Ranga placed Rimuru on his head makes it look like he has the you know sleeping blindfold on. But on top of that, why? It just looks kind of fucked up because he pe pretty much like pierced him with his horns. I know the horns don't do any damage to Rimuru, but like damn, you really just pierced it. Well, no, no, no. It's because Rimuru is like sleepy. He can't hold on. We need to pierce him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why are you using demon summoning here, though? This is ridiculous that he summons Diablo like this. <laughs> this is actually hilarious. I just have to rock, rock his face like this. But what? What is? Why did he intentionally use demon summoning? Like, why demons? Has he ever used this before? Why? Because like, casually just summoning demons. Of all, has he, who, who, when has he ever used a skill before? The demons, I mean. You guys know? In the anime, they didn't. Berta, that was in the labyrinth, huh? Ramorous. Berta for Ramorous. That was the first time, oh, we kind of skipped over those episodes because you guys thought it was fucking boring, but, um, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, we have used this before. We, we're just seeing, hey, someone fucking show up. Now, is it because Rimuru attained 20k souls and is about to, turned into a true demon lord that he was able to summon Diablo? Or, or is it the fact, like just before in season one finale, where a random summoning request came in and Diablo was like, I'm so fucking bored, I need to do something. All of the dead bodies lying here. Okay, so it's quite the sacrifice, huh? 20k corpses, 20k. There he is! Primordial Black! I don't remember the one on the left and the right though. What the fuck? So Diablo was like right hand left hand man? <laughs> Not any demon, bro. Beyond an arc demon. <laughs> Familiar presence. Yeah, kill them monkeys, Ghetto. Get him. Truly, because at the end of season one, remember they did a whole thing and Diablo was basically looking at Rimuru, very interested at the mask the entire time too, right? And like, what, what was the other one? Um, oh, I, I forget. The, the mask though, did he specifically recognize the mask in, in season one finale? I can't really remember, but if he did, if he recognized the mask specifically, then doesn't that mean that he's pretty much like encountered a hero in the past who sealed Veldora, right? So as like, may maybe the hero, maybe this dude was a fucking demon for a previous demon lord who fought against the fucking hero, right? He was pretty much like summoned by another fucking demon lord in the past and bro recognized the mask because like he fucking pretty much is like, you know, I well, no, 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 I'm going, no, 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 he fought you, you're right, you're right, I'm, I'm going ahead, I'm going ahead, I'm cooking, wait, no, 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 the microwave is blowing up now, wait, 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 he saw the mask with Shizu, and that's how he's recognizing it now. True, 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 true. Suguru Geto is here to kill all the monkeys now. 20,000 monkeys. Welcome in. Bro has no idea that he summoned the primordial demon. Bro has no fucking clue what he has done, right? <laughs> Every time they show Shion dead, like her cleavage is just out. Like someone just fucking cover up with the jacket. Like, come on. Like, show some respect. I don't know. Is I I don't I just can't take it too seriously. When she's supposed to be dead, we're supposed to be grieving, and you see her fucking God good googly moogly. You know what it's like? Good googly moogly. It's just boing, and I'm like, <sighs> 
come on, I'm trying to fucking get serious right now. I can't. Your, your breast cleavage is fucking breaking the immersion. What the fuck is Gobsla eating? Why does he have that gut, bro? Gobsla, what you eating, bro? He's got that skinny fat build, right? He's not really fat. He just got a gut. He's pretty skinny. It's like, what, what you eating, bro? Grucius still getting cucked as usual. Not great sage. Word of the world, right? This is the word of the world, the system telling everybody what's going on? Or is it Great Sage? Words of the world, okay, okay, okay. Everyone knows about it too. Gifts! All our like uh, exec council members get gifts, right? Benny and friends definitely get it, but like, does Gopta get it? I hope he does. Everyone he named gets it? Oh shit! Okay, here we go. Thermal fluctuation resistance, of course, yes. In the middle of the fucking village, huh? Right in the fucking fountain. We just put him up. <sighs> I kind of wanted this to happen. When I was watching this for the first time, I was like, ooh, wouldn't it be nice to see like a, a dark Rimuru? Rimuru that's kind of like abandoned his... He pretty much has abandoned his humanity. He accepted that he's a monster now. He said that he couldn't feel anything when killing those people last episode, right? But it's like, I want like a super evil Rimuru. A new race from slime to demon lord slime? Everyone closes their eyes and bows in silence. Okay, he's a demon slime now. Okay, physical stats improved. Freely changes material and spiritual bodies. That I don't really know, but sounds kind of fucking cracked. All skills and resistance don't get, get evolved. Infinite regeneration, universal detect, Lord's ambition, Mao's hockey, straight up demon hockey, universal thread. Okay, there's a lot of new skills, man. Natural element nullification, so any element nullifies. Spiritual attack resistance. Holy attack resistance! Now, hey, hey, hey! Hinata's dead end rainbow attack, right? We got spiritual attack resistance. Hinata's attacks attack the spirit, right? So would that even work on us anymore? Would that, would, cause like, the sword has a condition, seven attacks to the soul, or the spirit, and like this, no, those are attacks to the soul. That and spiritual attacks different. Her spiritual magic was disintegrate, right? Disintegrate was spiritual magic. So we have resistance against that, and we have holy attack resistance. I don't really know what that really means. Maybe just basic attacks from Hinata, but I wonder if it's like, you know, instead of seven hits, it's gonna be like, I don't know. Maybe in season three, they'll do the seven dead end rainbow again. We'll keep it a secret, right? And it's like, she does seven attacks and she's like, this is it. And she gets it in. Shine! And then Rimuru's like, oh, psych. You gotta get eight hits now. And then that's how he wins. That would be a fucking hilarious moment. Okay. Great Sage becomes uh, Raphael. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Great Sage and Word of the Word is talking together? Try again? More simulations. More simulations. How many times are we gonna fucking take, bro? Sacrifice Degenerate. Is that worth? Ooh. Okay, good. Ultimate skill. Not just unique skill, we sacrifice degenerate, we get ultimate skill, people get gifts. Now, how many ultimate skills are there? We gotta watch a fucking Annie News video on this because like we know the existence of unique skills and how important they are, right? Pretty much if you have a unique skill, it's like a fucking hack, right? But an ultimate skill, this is the first time we're learning about this, right? Or at least like hearing about it in the anime, right? This is the first time an ultimate skill has ever been mentioned, right? I think so. Wonder how many other people have like ultimate skills. So <laughs> see, so see Rimuru. But wait, wait, but we, we just got merciless. Why, why you get, wait? Maybe we get merciless in one. Maybe we do. I don't know. Okay, merciless is gone already. We got Billy Bob now, though. Another ultimate skill. Shion. 
not Gobzo. He's he, he on there. So like with Bilzebub and Raphael, we were required to sacrifice Degenerate and Merciless. Now the the, the sacrifice doesn't mean that we can't use it, right? Don't don't, don't think it carried over. Yeah, like it gets like merged in, right? So like Bilzebub will inherently have the properties of uh, uh what's it called Merciless and Raphael alone will help with Degenerate. I don't fucking. I don't fucking know. We got two ultimate skills now. Hey, hey! I'm actually happy he survived. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. He did have some. Yeah, survive. Okay. Rosin fucking lives again, dude. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even mad at him, right? Shogo fucking sucks, but this Rosin guy is very interesting. Rosin is actually. No, wait, wait. I'm speaking too quick. Diablo's still around. Diablo's still around. Wait. <laughs> Diablo, don't do it. Wait! <laughs> Let him cook! Come on! Let Rosin cook for like one more season! Maybe he could be like a hype opponent in season four! Come on! <laughs> Fuck! Okay. Does Rosin even know what he's facing? <laughs> fight? This is like a demonstration of power, isn't it? A fight? An equal fight? No, I don't think you realize what you're up against. <laughs> Greater demon, he says. Oh, we're gonna see someone flashbacks, bro. Remember when he was like, oh, I'm an arc, arc demon. <laughs> and he was like, nah. He actually blew that. That's a nuke? <laughs> that, that wasn't even like a... <sighs> either. That was like a... <sighs> that, that was like a quick little... <sighs> bro should have fucking flapped his eyelids like Ano, dude. He should have just fucking flapped his eyelids. <laughs> or, or even fucking the beat of his heart, bro. Just, the, just make his heart beat louder and make this shit go away. <laughs> Trigger techniques? Okay, 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 sure. That's a malfunction. Cope, cope. Sure, cope. Ooh, a war gnome. Okay, superior spirit of the earth. All right, I mean, bro, summoning his stand looks pretty cool. What can it do? I want to know the tier list of like the spirits as well because like the demons there's like lesser greater archbishop and primordial but like these spirits there's got to be lesser greater this is just a greater spirit right there's got to be like, is there like an arc spirit like like a primordial spirit or some shit whoa rock paper scissors system rock paper scissors system hold up hold up, hold up. demons and angels are strong against each other right okay it's like light and dark attributes in many different rpgs where they have like they're like advantages against each other huh so i guess spirit the existence of spirits just fucks demons double fold huh you got the angels you got the angels and uh fucking spirits that counters demons but demons only counter angels and spirits are hard okay 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 <laughs> He's like a fucking time traveling fucking nomad, bro. I don't even know how old he is. <gasps> Diablo's older, huh? Diablo is way older, huh? She's how old is he? I mean, he is like primordial color black. Has he has he existed since the conception of colors? Like what? Like what? Bro, like existed before this world even existed? Like, uh, where's the demon world? What is the demon world, right? <laughs> bro, did a sidestep at the little crack, dude. What is that? Is that some spirit shit? <laughs> yeah, but like you're facing someone beyond the superior spirit. Anti-magic barrier! He can do it too! To give you an even playing field. Because if I can't use magic... Then at least we can fight <laughs> with fists. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to make it easier for you, bro. <laughs> he still thinks he's just an arc demon, bro. All right, bro's got berserker, like pinnacle of like physical attacks. Yeah, the black, the black. Yes. Yep. Yep. So far, Diablo's been shitting on Rosin, being like, oh, you're so inexperienced, or you're so young. Maybe he said that to the spirit. Oh, you don't fucking know anything. <laughs> and now, just because he mentioned, oh, are you primordial? He's like, oh, finally, he's glazing me. He fucking knows about me. Yes. You're very smart now. 
Exactly! What did Rimuru do? And good point, he's not even named yet. He's still just Kuro. He's not even a named demon yet. He's, he's still nerfed. And the fact that he said, let's see how much this body can test, right? Because this vessel, this, this physical carcass right now, it's limited, right? Because like the real demon Diablo or Kuro must have power that surpasses just this vessel, right? It must be, right? <laughs> It was just a prank, bro! It was just a prank, bro! Oh, you actually passed out. He actually fucking passed out. Did he piss his pants? Is he dead? Does Rosin survive? Maybe? Maybe? Is he dead? He just stared at him at the end. He just fainted. Maybe he fucking, like, survives. And like he makes it to the next season? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Rothen survives! Rothen fights a primordial demon and survives! Let's go. Are we back? Okay. Oh, Benny got it. Shuna got it. Hey, yo, Shuna, what the fuck? I know what you're doing. You didn't have to do Shuna like that. Why is she the only one doing like this, huh? <laughs> Why are you blushing though? Gift though, she's got her- She's on all fucking fourth, got the gas sticking up and you're gonna blush now? Sure, it feels stronger. Mmm. Rieger is just passed out. Gaburu passed out. Grucius, you ain't get no gift! He's ascending! Is Benny actually the only one that was awake? Oh shit, he looks like a fucking Greek god now. But this is a demon lord. The eyes, it's red! Is Benny straight up the only one that is still conscious and witnessed, you know, Rimuru of our family? Grucius and Mulan doesn't count. Damn, Benny getting more credit. Raphael. You can sleep. Gail just sleeping, just <laughs> sitting up. Oh, it's time to revive people, right? Devour all magicules. This is the resurrection, right? Yeah, they got sucked up. The magicules turn into spirits? Souls? Back into it. The most impressive part is how he was able to figure out, like, Raphael was able to figure out, like, which soul corresponds to which body and just, like, immediately aligned it perfectly, boom. <laughs> so, come on. Come on. So, every time I see her dead, I just see her fucking titties. I can't take it seriously, dude. Alright, take it. Come on, take that gift. Ooh, Diablo! Everybody thinks that he's an arc demon only, right? Because they can't like, possibly comprehend that it could be like a greater. Okay, wait, 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 uh, Primordial. Okay, Razen is here still. Wagakimi. What is the difference between Wagakimi and Waga Aruji? Is Kimi like even more honorable than Aruji? Because at the end of the day, it means my lord, but I'm sure it's like different degrees of respect, right? <laughs> Oh? We need more souls? We need more magicals then. Use mine! Use mine instead! I need to sign up for this shit?! What the fuck?! I thought- I thought we were chill Diablo! What the- These two are probably like- Bro, come on, seriously. Bro, we've been in- we've, we've been fucking sleeping for like, millennia. Come on, we finally got out of the fucking demon plane to have some fun. Are you serious, bro? Are you- are you serious, bro? I'm sure they're honored to offer their lives like that. Are- are these arc demons? They gotta be arc demons, right? So two maybe greater or arc demons being used as sacrifice. They're greater? Okay. <laughs> You're not that envious if you didn't offer yourself, bro. Oh, I'm sorry for making eye contact. Let me back off. Secret Art of Spirit Resurrection. 
And only Raphael knows how to do this? Like, Rimuru wouldn't? What even is Raphael? Raphael is the new ultimate skill made after sacrificing Degenerate and Great Sage evolving into Raphael. Great Sage was basically some kind of like AI in our head. Basically a computer. This computer took us over. It's kind of just, it can, it can kind of just like take over Rimuru when it wants to. Or is this like the only time that it's able to basically take over Rimuru? I don't know. Isn't this the ending? Ultimate secret spirit art. Yes, it's really important. Gobzo, let's go! Yeah, I think. Is Karyon even a true demon lord? Because, like, this is Grusu's realizing that, ah, shit, my demon lord can't be like it, bro. Karyon could never, man. Subarashi! Subarashi! Please give me a name! The horn's back! Yeah? Maybe it's even higher rates. 99. 100%. Everyone's good. Oh, damn, look. He tried so quick to catch there. I'm sorry. Diablo, like, I'm all about Diablo, man. Ah, she back. Open those eyes. That's the episode, man. Damn. Damn. I think this pretty much is concluding. Well, it's not almost done yet. We're pretty much at the end, right? But these two episodes, the past two episodes, has been just like the culmination of just like all of season two, which I pretty much skipped in the beginning because you guys don't give a fuck about politics. Ain't nobody would give a fuck about that. Y'all just wanted to see the Megiddo shit. And you know what? Because this is our second rewatch, perfectly fine with me, man. So many things that I've forgotten. Like, for example, the fact that we had Merciless, where it's like, if you're scared, if you give up, you die. I'm sure that's kind of been changed to be, uh, what's it called? Bilzebub now, right? We acquired two ultimate skills. Raphael and Bilzebub. And I'm sure that other demon lords must have ultimate skills too. But like the existence of ultimate skills, I think, is like disclosed in this episode specifically, right? So it's kind of crazy, bro. It's kind of crazy. Now, Rosin fighting, quote unquote fighting, not really fighting, but like going against surviving, surviving against a primordial demon. Pretty impressive, right? I mean, I don't know why I'm glazing Rosin like this. I think it was just very interesting how he's like a a being from the past that's been able to, you know, chop bodies and made it this far. I kind of wanted to be like a ultimate end villain somewhere, but it's like, nah, not really. Diablo fucking, it's not even Diablo yet. It's a fucking unnamed version of Kuro was able to just like show such a difference in power. Didn't even need to use magic, bro. Just fucking use their bare hands. And this is with him using Berserker, dude. It's crazy how strong Kuro really is. Benny... Maybe getting replaced. It's not fair. I mean power creeps happen all the time That's why I keep saying guys never focused on units. That's pure DPS, right? You got to worry about unreplaceable units like Shuna that has like support utility that always scales Kuro Diablo. It's just unfair, right? It's just fucking unfair. He might be the newest uh, Strongest addition to our team, but that's it from me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction Please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care